Hello and welcome again to another video of basic fishing. As you can see, I am on the yak, but today I am in new waters, literally. <laughs> over the last several trips of my kayak expedition, I've been doing nothing but um, the same thing over and over, which was shallow water um, soft baiting, but that only produced small fish. So my last trip and now today I'll be out in the deeper water. And just to show you how deep it is, I'll just drop this down and see how many color it takes to get to the bottom. Yep, that's like 15 meters of water. I've already landed um, my first snapper for today, but it was small, so I released it back. So today's objective is to try um, slow micro jig just to see if I can get anything on this lure and there is a bit of um, swell not too viciously thankfully but I might have to get the sea anchor so I hope everyone has enjoyed will enjoy today's video and yeah stay tuned for the fishy action it's a bit sunny so excuse the view if anyone can't see anything I don't think it's a big fish. My aim with the jigs is to try to catch bigger. Yeah, nah, he's nowhere near big. It was easy to pull in. Oh, and I hate it when I do that. So I'll just give you an idea on what I'm using. I'm using a 20 gram uh, flutter jig and this reel, the DC reel, Corrado. And the cool thing about this is that it makes this cool sound. And there's hardly any backlash too. It controls everything. But anyway, this goes out like over 50 meters, which is, you know, really cool. And basically what I'm doing is I am jigging it from like horizontal jigging uh, to a degree. After two twitches, I let it sink to the bottom and how I can see it reach the bottom is it, when the line went slack. And once it went slack, just like that, I just repeat the process. And if you don't trust it, you could just easily thumb the spool as it goes down. So far, this method has been producing a snapper and I had caught small, mostly small snappers. I had caught a few decent sized snaps on it too. But uh, yeah, today's video will mostly be focused on um, slow jigs, I guess is one way of putting it. Not to mention, um, I might try using the Sunaku as well, just because the Sunaku works so well in um, like just drifting on the yak, which is pretty sick. So yeah, let's see how the rest of this day goes. A jig to sit on the rod holder and I'm getting a fish on already. How cool is that? I think the fish is still there. I'm using a slightly heavier jig on this one just to see if I can get anything on the spin gear I'm using a 40 gram jig on this one but uh, so far nothing that's just the first cast though oh uh, yeah 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 fish on I think Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Jesus. But it's not a big fish. It's just a fighter. Oh, got off. 
yeah, doing two things at once can be a bit distracting, so I'll just stick to one method. Anyone can see that, but there's a whole lot of work up over there. <laughs> I might, um, might go and investigate actually, or allow the, um, the school of fish move towards me. But it would be cool to hook into some carway. They're coming towards me now. I might be getting into some action after all. Oh my god, there they are. Oh my god. Here they are. Oh, yes, I'm on. I'm on a car way. Yes! Oh my god! Whoa! Oh, came off, came off, came off! Wow, they're just here, they're just here! Oh wow! Right in front of me again! Oh, oh my god, this is so insane! Come on, come on! Just check it up and down, and they should notice. Wow, this is so insane. Oh, 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 oh my God, whoa, wow, a pack attack. Wow, whoa, man, these are powerful. Loosen the drag. Whoa. Oh my God, this is so cool. They're still here. Man, these cowboys are so powerful. God. Yeah. That's a young car, right? First fish for the morning. But to make this more interesting, let's leave this car right in here and let's try this gear. I bet the car right won't suspect anything. Damn it. Oh, they moved away. Oh. Far out, that was epic while that lasted. Oh, they're still here. They're still here. Let's cross back there and see if I can get any from there. Oh my god, this is crazy. I've got like one car in the net, hanging it in the thread. Come on, let's try. Let's try here. Whoa! Come on! Whoa! They're everywhere! Wow! But why aren't they? Maybe the jig is just too big or something. I don't know, but damn, this is so cool! Just there. Yep, got it! Two car eyes. Woo! 
This is great fun. Oh, damn. And even these small ones, they're powerful as. Oh. He's not the biggest kawaii, but man, these guys can pack a punch. I'm glad I was able to catch a few kawaii now. Oh, one down. But there it is. Oh yeah. So oh, insane. This anchovy rod is so sick. Oh crap, I'm just over it. Just wind, let's wind over it. Let's wind over it. Let's see if they'll react to it. Oh yeah! Not a fish on. They're not the biggest kawaii in the world, but. <laughs> oh, gone off. Hit into a horse of a mackerel. Holy cow. That is impressive. What? These guys must be chasing the anchovy schools too. Oh my god. This is insane. Like. I swear, I thought that was a kawaii, but it's actually a giant mackerel. Well, not a giant, giant mackerel. Oh my god. Anyway, he's gonna go back to fight for another day. Oh my god, this is insane. A kawaii. Oh, man. These fish, they sure know how to fight. <laughs> I'm just casting and straight retrieving this like a like a spinner even though this is a slow jig oh these kawaii's don't make it easy though do they good kawaii off it goes let's try that again can see that they're just smashing the bait schools right in front of me that is so sick I, I have never seen anything like that in my life up this close. Oh my god. This is so you can't sick. See it. I can literally see the school of anchovies being kicked out of the water by the car. Like, oh my god, that is so cool. Oh man. So I've changed back to a micro jig, hoping to um, get the snapper at the bottom. I'll just jig it up and down around where the school is. I think the snappers will be scavenging below, while the kawaii from above will be attacking along with the birds. <sighs> this is so crazy. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, there we go. God, I got a lion. It's not a big snapper. Yep. It's not a keeper snapper, but that's an obvious sign. I just changed it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Look at that. Snapper by the looks of it. Oh no. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Ah. Once again, not a big snapper, but this is proof that when whenever these um anchovy runs are happening the snappers are not far behind they will be below the birds and the kawaii the just hooks are good but they can be a bit of a pain to uh, deal with Whew. got a snap hope this is a better fish it's pulling a bit oh yep yeah. oh this might be either this might be an eater. Whoa, I just saw the anchovy jumping.
Yeah, finally. Oh. Oh, yep. Yeah. He's easily legal. Damn, worked hard for this snapper, that's for sure. <laughs> Good snapper. Oh my god, I can see them. Oh god, I hope the GoPro captured a good footage of this as well. My god, this is crazy! I'm right in the middle of a boil up. This is insane. Oh God. Oh God, I, I'm lucky I had this rope. Just detached somehow. Ah, oh, that's why. Jesus. At this rate, I won't be able to fish because I'm so absorbed by this. This is insane. A black magic flutter jig. This is a little, this is a 60 gram. I'm gonna see if this works on a kawaii. I originally got this for deep water snapper fishing off the yak, but let's see if this works. Jeez, I went far. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chases. Oh, yeah, yeah, chases, chases, chases. Oh! Oh! My arm is going to be so sore after today. Wow! This is so epic. Yeah, got it! That's a bigger fish. Oh! Bigger fish! Yep, jumping. Oh, yep. Oh! Damn, that's one fat kawaii. He must be chocker full of uh, anchovies. He's not done yet though. There we go. <laughs> it's caught. On the flutter, on the flutter jig. <laughs> First fish on the on the new jig that Black Magic sent me. How kind of them, eh? I can hook up right here on the um, flipper jig. No flutter jig, sorry. 60 gram. And on these kawaii's, it is like shooting fish in a barrel. Oh man, this is so much fun. Well, I'm not making this up, but I can literally see the anchovy swarm all over me. I, I hope I'm getting good footage out of here because this is amazing. Oh my God, this is incredible. I never thought I would see anything like this. I just hope I captured this properly. But man, these birds are going crazy all over this thing. But these anchovies are quite tiny. They're literally the size of the fleas. So I might try flicking out the flea to the bottom 
and see if any of the snappers below will be interested, especially the big ones. Oh my god, I just saw that bird. He was going after the anchovy that was hopping across the surface. But who would have thought that a tiny bait fish like this can cause this much activity out on the water? Just to show how abundant this, um, oh my god, this Jack Mac, he's hooked right in the, in the head, but he should, he should survive. Ow! Oh god, don't tell me you killed him! Oh, uh, I think he'll be okay. Just to give you an idea on how <laughs> effective this flipper style jig is. This is a 20 gram and it's shredded and the cavala is almost coming undone. So I might need to get a replacement for that. But basically the way this drops to the bottom, it looks like a dying bait fish. I mean, just to show how effective it is, I just have to drop this down. And instantly I'll get a bite. Like that's what's been happening for the last several minutes. Most of the fish are small, so sadly, the keeper size has not been that good. So, yeah, look at that. I, I didn't even work it. Unfortunately, the snapper is not that big. They're not weak, these snappers, especially in the open water situation. Yeah, look at that. So yeah, when there's like an anchovy run or something like that, try out of the, these styles of jigs around them too, because this is actually provided to be quite good fun. <sighs> I do prefer using a, well, I do wish I could hook into a bigger fish, but so far, none are turning up. All right, so it's been an epic day's fishing today. By epic, I don't mean the size of the fish or the catch rate, but more like the action. I never thought I would be able to witness like something like this so close to home. Like that was so cool. I hope that everyone has seen the awesome underwater footage. I hope it's awesome. But yeah, I think I'm ready to call it quits now and head home. I'm tired and I'm hungry and I could use some food right now. So 
Anyway, I hope everyone has enjoyed watching um, this video. And if you have, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more fishing videos. Again, thank you for watching and see you all next time.